somebody else and try to make them look good. They, but they wouldn't get to the shit. I watched them come up. You know, I came up right. But you know. First 48. Boy, been killing all of them haircuts. Back to back, 30 minutes, appointment time, you see me yeah. spinning. Top off, you see me winning. Everything better with a KP twin. Yeah, I've been busy at work. But, uh, yeah, I've been working seven days. You can tell the difference from when it's now and when it wasn't that uh, holiday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a nine day difference. And it's colder, different conditions. The sun not out, brighten your day, so you can pull them. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to don't care. Yeah, I bring the truck back before I go in the dark. Hey, you saying stuff happening? Stuff be happening or? No, it's just me personally. I don't know. Hey, that is dangerous. If I push yourself in a situation, if it'll have to. Yeah. I did that about two, three times. They got mad at me. I don't care. I told them I don't care. I ain't blaming that dark. Yeah. <laughs> Like, uh, well, it's not a lot of situations that happen. I don't, I don't even want to risk it. Alright. Oh, you're right. You know, if I was getting paid six figures, maybe. Maybe. That's maybe. Your life ain't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> and you say, why well, put your life in, put yourself in it if you just wake up early and pop in and be done early? Well, I'd rather do that than delivering valuable stuff. Yeah, where it's easier. You know what I'm saying? Where stuff can happen. Because yeah, a lot of people say there's been cases of people following them. Yeah, that type of stuff. It's weird stuff that don't usually happen during the day. Mm -hmm. I saw some predator got away with my sh property. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the rules of Corpus Christi. Oh, I am not I'm like, I just don't brush it ever. I'm like, I start getting the habit of brushing it when I get up. Yeah. But like, when I was brushing in the morning, don't be patchy. It's just when I don't brush it. Yeah, 
of uh, things that many different styles. He wanted yeah, a nice piece of the nice clothes, diamond rings, yep. Yeah, really yeah, really yeah, 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 yeah,
And we really thank you for that. Right now, every time I see a man, I know I go that man, I know why he's going outside his own, that chicken, he, he stopped me. Nothing in the world, man. So what are you proudest of in your life? What am I proud of? I'm proud of my achievement. I'm proud to be here on earth, you know, from the grace of God, you know. He's first uh, from everything, you know. But I'm glad I did my achievement, you know, I own my own company. I don't have to pimp no more. I don't have to uh, uh, be mistreated. You know, I have my own everything. I have my own career, my own company. You know, and I'm functioning well. Legit money. There's nothing like legit money, you know. You don't have to do it, but you still do. Well, I have a lot of girls to help me now. You know, I ain't gonna turn down no money because I deserve it. You know, by being in the game so long. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the game has changed a lot. The game has changed so much, man. Right? In what ways has it changed? It changed, you know, it changed like, uh, money how I want to make a deal, you know? A lot of people, you know, they just, uh, just want to say they have a girl, you understand? But, you know, they don't understand what they say, they say cousins or something, you know? When you got girls, it shows because they, you go to live like a king, and that's what I do, live like a king, you know? You been in love before? Absolutely. Yeah, that's how. And a lot of times you do things which is unforbidden to the game. You know what I mean? That 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 that, that you know it's going it, it'll cross you out the game. You'll be out the game quicker than you came in the game. That's what happened when you fall in love. But now I'm in love with money and success in life. Mm -hmm. And of course the man upstairs. So religion is important to you? Yeah, man. I believe in God, man. I never would be. You know, uh, this age and been so many places that have so much knowledge in his brain. You know, if I didn't believe in God, God saves me. So we're pretty worthy of it. You know what I mean? And, and you got to mess with loyal people because one wrong person, you know, it's a lot of haters out there now. Pain, they don't like you. They might have had a sister or a brother, maybe a mother, that somebody had that, that a claim of something and he was misspelling you know, and beating on her and put a scar on her and stuff. <laughs> so therefore, they son don't like, don't feel if you ever see. I don't use the name. I don't have to use mama. <laughs> but I know the game very well. They can come out of his mind at any time with Olympia speed. What do you think uh, most squares don't understand about the game? You know, they, 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 I tell them, hate the game, don't hate the player. <laughs> Cause you know, I'm telling you, because a lot of them just don't like it, and that's the simple reason why they didn't have a sister or a brother or something. Just somebody maybe took advantage of them, you know? Probably went in a pimp and the whole thing, but you know, <laughs> the drugs is so cold out here in this world now. Oh, yeah. You know? You have uh, everybody, is, and you know, uh, they don't even know who they is anymore. I never met anybody, you just don't know who they is anymore. You know them all the, your whole life, and now you got, all of a sudden you're. If they became to you don't even know who they are anymore. That happens. Yeah, drugs are a real problem. Yeah, everybody has problems with things like that, man. As you said, they were, you can be good as gold. They used to have good jobs and all that. Now all of a sudden, you see them a year or two later, and they're, and, and, and they're smoking somewhere. They're standing in the doorway with shoelaces. Smoking just a whole oh, shit. And you have to stay thinking your brain is, this is a computer here. A lot of knowledge. They call it ism in the pimp game. It's all right, Johnny. Thank you so much for your phone view when I was young. Uh, then we, we, you know, we, 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 we quit kidding. So I was one of the founders of the Crips back in the day. I did my hustling in the street then. And then uh, I, I ended up learning about the game, as usual, the two books, Iceberg Slam and Donald Bourne. I didn't like Iceberg Slam because I think he's kind of, you know, really mean and women and stuff like that. I'm not into that. And then my name is Vinny Mac. I'm a Mac. I'm not, I, you know, if I got to put my hands on you, I don't need you. I don't believe in all that type of, uh, oh, Mac is more of a gentleman. Yeah. Yes, sir. I, 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 I could really consider myself as a professional and gentleman in the region. You know what I mean? You see that in the history of the game? Really? Yes, I'm, now I'm going to kick back and I'm going to take you in the ride. You give it back to you and let me tell you this story. Right? I cut my teeth right here across the street. Back about 20 years ago, this was a major home store right here with the studio. Right? I used to park my car right across the street so my girl used to work right here. It makes my ears mean I would work three or four home stores a day and then they would come together. So I, when, I, when I cut my teeth in Hollywood, not the vision, and when I got with him, we flew the country together. So to the country had all the music. You know, I made it back here in the face. Ah! I heard Yeah.
that's just that time we're taking on the ankle. But I, I came up under him. You know, I, I, I came up in Long Beach. Of course, I got my Stacey Adams on because in Long Beach, you know, that's from the gangsters and what the Stacey Adams, all the real gangsters were black Stacey Adams that we were sophisticated. We kind of modeled ourselves. And when said, Joe Cato was back in the day, he was like, yeah, and Joe Cato, by the way, was like 13. He said, like, this, he was like 13. Two roles, boys, the real master of music and all that, you know what I'm saying? And if you went into Cato Country nine times out of ten, you don't get that. So anyway, so back to the story, we, we, we started mounting up and we started just getting so deep on the West Coast. We had cowboys, had links to the side, we had long fern with a single coat on with a dribbling when you go wore cowboy boots and stuff like that. So we had our own flavors for the West Coast. And so we worked in Bakersfield, we worked down to there, and we were just spreading snow on Blackstone and Parkway. Then we ended up going up to it. It's a little city called Salinas. Salinas was, it's in just Northern California, and, and right out of Oceanside. Salinas was a little bitty place, and it was close to Mark was only three blocks long. But guess what, Mark? There's 90 girls in them three blocks. And when we got there, man, it was like a lot of international campus. I got to say, and I want to say this here, this is where I met Kenny Red at. I don't want to say rest in peace and funeral from that you do know that he passed away. I met Kenny Red, I met Gangster Brown. I mean, Pippin, Pierre, Mario, all the East was a big area of stuff. So we kind of, we came together right there. And I made a couple of men out of the best, Nikki out of, out of New York, uh, the, the, uh, uh, Lucky out of, out, of, out of Detroit, a lot of international players. But when you know the track, it was, it was more of a karate event. You know, it was uplifting. It wasn't, it wasn't like the game of the day. So we went on the stomp down around there. Then we went into the Oakland and the area. You know, I worked up there for years. I had some family that stayed up there for about that. Years, I was back and forth there, then we worked in the Tenderloin, you know, then we went up to Portland, you know, Washington, Seattle, uh, at these times, all these folks go 30, 40, 50, 100 girls on all these things. I never went to little small places, you know what I'm saying? I'm a major champion, I, I was, got like a full of thumb, you know, I got my Cadillac, they got the Tiffany on the back, they got the ladies on the back, I got all the white girls in the car, so we try to stay international on this track. Yeah, you know, trip. No, 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 no. I, I don't think they can with a sip of this. Yes, I was. I, I, I did my time. I did grind, and I did my time, and I got that. Yes, yes. So, uh, so yeah, I, I, I went through that. I went through that. You know, you gotta go through that again. You know, I, I was under the man that kind of way. That's just good enough. And then, uh, you know, when I went to, that's when I, I, I put the pen in my book and made the sense of the night story. That's why I wrote the book up in prison. So, that's, that's why I got the inspiration. I, I took a sharp turn in there. My mother passed away when I was I was I was incarcerated, and so I ended up being in a federal hole for about nine months. And I started writing my book then. So the guard was coming up there. What are you doing? I said, man, you got to be writing every day. You get ready for the day. I said, no, I'm actually writing a book, and I told him about the mother guy. He said, I, I ain't supposed to do this, so I'm going to take you in a small light here and make you start typing for it. And that's how the book came about. I want to get you on the top of the set. And since he asked me about the deal situation, I thought I could do so, you know, that's, that's why I think it's okay, like I said. And drugs are part of the event? No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really care for drugs, but I'll tell you something right now, Mark. Anybody said, oh, no, my girl never did drugs, it's more likely lying, because these are dark secrets in the game, and he didn't even talk about what your family did, because if you talked about what your family did, it gave drugs a different advantage of being inside of your home. Of course, everybody at one time that had drugs had it before too, and I'm not going to lie and say I, I ain't never had that. You get what I'm saying? It, it happens, but the you know, I do to get rid of hair bumps down there. You want them to try to come up out of the game. You know, you want to try to get some hair in the morning and then hang down to the end. That's what I'm saying. You know, you want to try to get some hair in the morning and then hang down to the end. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so moisturization. Lack of moisturization. Lack of moisturization can cause that. I want my face every morning and night. It's, you know, I'm not going to look at it. 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 I'm not going to
you know, she 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 was really, 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 really cared for it. And then, you know, she supported me in whatever I did. So, you know what I'm saying? But she didn't really care for the lifestyle that I lived. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I felt like kind of like the back of the family, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, that was that was her take on it. So, I, I actually took a little break. I had, I had had to, I took a break from the game. Took, so, I took a minute to school. I started going to college because I want to be, uh, you know, the father. And, you know, I'm saying you go to school, but I'm not going to. So that's what took me back to the college where I took up radio, selling television, and I'm doing marketing sales. Like I said, I took certain courses and all that aspect of that thing. You know what I'm saying? But during that time, I had had a heart attack, and then I, you know what? Love is more important to me. You can always make money. You can't get love. You have to always be doing that. You can make all the money you want. You can't make money. I you know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you something right now. I've had uh, all of women. And I'm going to tell you something right now. Anyone who's with you, I love all my women because if a woman goes out on the track, take a look at her. Listen to her life. You can go all the way. And you don't let her win, you got a whole new soul. And you're I feel like Kevin is dead now. Well, you know what, Mark? It's dead. It's dead. You know these women don't get along. And they can't get along with their family. They ain't going to get along with 6 other women. You know, take a certain type of mindset for that shit. These girls now, they don't got that mindset. That's what I'm saying. So they'd rather make it on their own. They don't do that. Because every money, so when they, when they got out of the game, at least they would have something to fall back on. If they started to retire, I didn't have none of them, so go get another ticket, baby, all the assets that they had built up in their life. So I felt super good, you know what I mean? So you know, in the game, you know, you can find a lot of people who are looking for action to protect themselves. That's what I'm saying. 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 Same for one thing, and I'll tell you something. Let me put this out there, Mark. All the hookers choose their pimps, or what they so-called pimps, right? So what happened was when when they when they they end up. choosing a gangbanger or drug dealer or something like that, and then they have a bad year cap to the game, they say they hit pimps, but they never had a pimp in the first place. They took somebody else and tried to make them a pimp. That, but they weren't just in the first place. So the game has changed because those type of people got in the game. They didn't learn the game. See, I learned from Hollywood Snake or two veterans. I learned watching games with Brown, Kill Mo I did this. I watched them come up. You know, I came up right. But today <laughs> Okay. Cut yeah. no game. First 48. <clears throat> first 48. Yeah, I say, yeah. text my line and just...